Hello, my name is Ellie Gaston, and this is my homework presentation on how antibodies eliminate antigens. So the first question probably is, what is an antibody or antigen? Well, an antigen is the component of a pathogen that triggers the production of antibodies when it is introduced into the body. The regulating antibodies bind to the antigen. Another definition is a toxin or other foreign substance which includes an immune response in the body, especially the production of antibodies. Antibodies are a protein produced by the immune system in response to a foreign substance such as a virus or bacterium. Antibodies protect the body from disease by binding to these pathogens and neutralizing or destroying them. Another definition is a blood protein produced in response to and counteracting a specific antigen. Antibodies combine chemically with substances which the body recognizes as alien, such as bacteria, viruses, and foreign substances in the blood. Next, we'll move on to the functions of antibodies. Antibodies activate the complete cascade, which leads to cytolysis, inflammation, and opsonization. They are used by the immune system to neutralize pathogens. Some functions of antibodies are, they find antigens, stick to them, and identify for the immune system the exact type of antigen so that it can be destroyed. Each antibody is made for one and only one antigen, and it's fitted with special receptors that will only bind to that antigen. So each antibody is made for a specific pathogen and will not work on other pathogens. Some other functions are antibodies can directly increase the process of phagocytosis. Antibody binding causes precipitation of small soluble antigens, which make them more detectable to phagocytes. When binding to large antigens, antibodies cause agulation of groups of cells, which can then be more effective in ingesting by, by phagocytes. Antibodies also serve as tags or opsonons to make antigens for phagocytes, to mark antigens for phagocytes. Next, we'll move on to how antibodies fight antigens. First, the virus is met by a type of cell called B cells. The B cells are responsible for creating antibodies to match the antigen. Second, after the B cells have created their antibodies, the antibodies stick to the virus, marking it for the next round of attack. T cells are then ordered to attack the antigen that the antibody has marked for it. Third, after the antigen has been destroyed, the cleanup crew comes along. A wave of phagocytes, large cells that can consume foreign matter, eat the remains of the infection. And one interesting thing about antibodies is immunity. Immunity is the ability of an organism to resist a particular infection or toxin by the action of specific antibodies or synthesized white blood cells. Antibodies and immunity. After an infection is def defeated, the antibodies still remain in the body. They are left there to wait in case that particular antigen returns. Active immunity occurs when an individual produces antibodies or a disease through his or her own immune system. Passive immunity is provided when a person is given antibodies. Some examples of passive and active immunity are, one good example are, of today is the antibodies given to patients with COVID or the antitoxin given to patients with diphtheria before a vaccine was created. Active immunity examples include vaccines like the flu vaccine or maternal antibodies. And here is the work cited. Thank you so much for watching.